I finally finished editing my message from Sunday. I haven't made a video in a long time, so I was very rusty at it and all kinds of hardware, software problems. I intended to put it out a couple of days ago, but here it is on Rosh Hashanah. That day I've been talking about for 20 years. And, um, and around 2 o'clock today, after uh, almost finishing it, I called my mom and my, my wife over to pray, just that I, uh, we would have the strength to, I would have the strength anyways to uh, complete it. And as we were praying, the spirit of prophecy came upon us. And my mother said something about, set your lips. As soon as she said those words, a flashback of Prophet David Wilkerson's book, Set Your Mouth to the Trumpet, came before me. And I also remembered, even though I haven't read the book in many years, that it's taken from Hosea 1.1, where it says, Set the trumpet to your mouth, for an eagle is over the house of God. Remember the videos, the, the eagle is predominant in the video as is the trumpet, because I want to talk about Donald Trump, and that's the message he gave me. I want you to listen closely, because it is from God. And so I googled, looked for the words, trumpet, eagle, Bible, boom, there it was indeed, Hosea 1.1, and I want to read it. When you think about it, think about the hurricanes, which is in Hebrew, it's often translated whirlwind, but same thing. Think about the hurricanes. Think about the idolatry of which God is judging. Think about asking for a king and Donald Trump. Think about the eagle. The prophetic ministry as I read this. So there it was. I turned to the NIV at BibleHub.com. And by the way, when the spirit prophecy came upon me, my wife was using a, a horn at the same time because this is Rosh Hashanah at 2 o'clock. My time was about or exactly the Feast of Trumpets, the, the Jewish New Year in Israel, of which she is hugely, her heart is huge with them. As a matter of fact, she, right now she's at a Messianic conference in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. She just went there a few hours ago. And she, went, she was blowing this. And so, the Lord, I'm just saying, all these things come together in the spirit of prophecy. It was quite dramatic. And so, I turned to this verse, not even knowing if eagle and trumpet are part of Hosea. And sure enough, this is what it says. The caption reads, for the beginning of Hosea 1, in the NIV on BibleHub.com. Israel, Israel to reap the hurricane, to reap the whirlwind. Put, verse 1, put the trumpet to your lips. That was the name of David Wilkerson's book. Put the trumpet to your lips. An eagle is over the house of God. Remember the fractal, the eagle is over the house of God in the image. Because the people have broken my covenant and rebelled against my law. Israel cries out to me, oh God, we acknowledge you. you no, know, Lord, you're God, the Lord, you're God. But Israel has rejected what is good. An enemy, remember we were talking about Islam, an enemy will pursue him. They set up, listen to this, verse 4, they set up kings without my consent. They choose princes without my approval. And it starts talking about idolatry. With their silver and gold, they make idols for themselves to their own destruction. Samaria throws throw out their calf idol. My anger burns against them. How long will they be incapable of purity? And this verse, they sow the wind and reap the whirlwind, or in our language, they sow the wind and they reap 
the hurricane. And then the Spirit quickened to me, Hosea 13, 11. Again, I wasn't even sure if it was in Hosea. And I looked that up. There, sure enough, this is related, this Hosea 11, 10 and 11 is referring back to chapter 1, verse 4 that I just read about the king, that you asked for a king. And here it enlarges on that thought where it says, now listen, what I, what I already had to speak about this, about if you go to 1260d.com, I talk about it at length, that God's people have asked for a king, like they asked for King Saul, but it's going to come with a price tag at the end. Hosea 13, 10 and 11, and with this I finish. Hosea 13, 10, and 11. Where now is your king, that he may save you in all your cities, and your judges of whom you requested? You know, supreme judges, so forth. You asked, give me a king and princes to rule over us. Verse 11, I gave you a king in my anger, and I took him away in my wrath. I gave you a king in my anger, and I took him away in my wrath. I gave you a king in my anger, and I took him away in my wrath. I gave you a king in my anger, and I took him away in my wrath. 